Hi folks, I'm Ross Minton. This is Grow Your Own Life. As always, please like and subscribe. That would be awesome. Without further ado, I'm gonna get straight to it. Bojo, Boris Johnson, has just been on TV talking about lockdown and there's been a few changes to the slogan and stuff as you've seen. So it's like, stay alert. Anywho, I want you to talk about if we can go metal detecting and maybe if we can go fishing. I don't know yet, but Bojo has just said you can travel for exercise for work, but not public transport. Uh, you have to respect social distancing. So the way I see it is this, okay? Yes, metal detecting, you're in a field on your own, so the social distancing should be fine. You're only supposed to do the exercise or the traveling with people in your own household. So obviously wives, partners, kids, that should be okay too, okay? You can go out and do unlimited exercise and hobbies apparently. Metal detecting can be considered an exercise. I use it as a form of exercise because it's great for my muscle condition of get bending, lifting and all that kind of thing. It's like a bit of physio for me. But there is a couple of things that I think we need to talk about. Firstly, most of us have some kind of insurance through the National, National Council of metal detecting or other companies. If they come out and say that we're still not allowed to metal detect, technically your insurance could be invalid. So if you hit a World War II bomb and you blow up half of your farmer's farm, you could have to fit, foot the bill. I know that's incredibly rare, but there's also lots of other little things, gates get left open, this, that and the other, sheep gets hurt, blah, blah, blah. So maybe we have to wait and see what the insurance providers, the membership say, I don't know, that's up to you. I'm not advising, I'm just giving my opinion on the whole thing. Secondly is this, now as you know from the rest of my channel, I have chickens and allotment and everything else, and I follow a lot of small holding and farming sites, simply because I like to buy cheap hay, I like to buy cheap chicken food, um, I like to support the farmers where I can, and I get good advice from them. These guys, you know, have hundreds of chickens, I have five chickens, if they can do it, I like to pick up little bits and pieces. Anywho. I digress. So I've seen a lot of farmers on these farming sites basically say that they're hating ramblers and walkers and everything else over lockdown, touching farm gates and going over styes. And some of them have even said, you know, they've got medical problems. They've had cancer or family with cancer or kids with disabilities or people who are shielded and everything else. And they're worried about it. So I think we need to consider farmers before we go all running out on Wednesday and getting into fields metal detecting. Simply because I think all rules are off at the moment. I think if last year a farmer said to you, Ross, go whenever you want, go in my field, it's fine mate, as long as you don't damage the crops, that's good, crack on. I think we have to reassess that at the moment. So I think it's only right and polite if you want to go metal detecting, if you, not my opinion, if you feel you want to go metal detecting and you feel that we now can go metal detecting, Give that farmer a call, say to them, look, Boris Johnson has said, you know, we can travel and do exercise and this and the other. I would like to come on my own to go in your field. I know you've said I can go in my your fields whenever I want to, but I want to check, All right? And just be polite and find out and check first because what you don't want is to go rambling over a field that normally there's no problem with and then you get angry farmer coming out and saying, what the hell are you doing here? My wife's got cancer, my son's got diabetes, this, that and the other. I don't want you touching my gate. And then you'll end up losing a permission. More importantly, you could endanger somebody who's poorly. So before we all rush out and I'm itching to get out, I wanna go fishing, I wanna go metal detecting, I wanna do loads of different things. Okay, even though I'm shielding, I still wanna get out on my own and do stuff away from like the garden and the allotment. I think it's better if we tread carefully, go cautiously, maybe wait a few days to see what the insurance people, the National Council of Metal Detecting, all people like that say. And then if all that checks out, call your farmers and ask them. Ask them first. Don't just presume we're in this new normal now. I know a lot of people are going to say things like, does it count, you know, and it's all going to go back to normal. It's common courtesy, right? We're, lots of us are panicking at the moment about different things. The farmers are panicking too. They might just turn around to you and say, 
at the moment, Ross. Don't worry about it. We'll reassess in a couple of weeks, but I'd rather you're not coming on my farm just now. And that's all good. It's their land. It's all good. But let's check first, shall we? Okay, folks. As always, I've been Ross Minton. Speak soon.